Hello, my name is Stephen Harris. I'm Vice President of Engineering at Terracotta, and I'm here to give a brief introduction to EH Cache Search. Most applications rely on caching to achieve the performance that users require. Due to its effectiveness and simplicity, caching is the most widely used technique for improving application performance and scale. From processors to web applications, everything uses a cache. Today, each cache users can quickly and easily manage from hundreds of entries to terabytes of data. The next challenge is for users to be able to retrieve that data in a more flexible manner, going beyond the key value lookup paradigm. That's where EH Cache Search comes in. After watching this short presentation on the new EH Cache Search API, you will be ready to start using it to take your application's performance and flexibility to a whole new level. EH Cache is the most widely used performance library in Java. It is used in over 70% of enterprise Java applications and is embedded in the most popular Java products and frameworks, both open source and closed. EH Cache is fast, lightweight, simple to use, and grows with your application. EH Cache 2.4 is fully backward compatible to versions 1.x, so there is no reason not to upgrade. EH Cache Search is a querying capability built into the core open source EH Cache API that extends the value and versatility of caching for performance. It provides fast, flexible access to every aspect of your in memory data. Using Search helps offload queries from the database, reducing its role as a bottleneck. This improves your application's performance, allowing for maximum flexibility. Each cache search works efficiently when standalone and scales out linearly with your data when distributed via Terracotta, without code changes. In this next section, we will go through the steps needed to get started with EH Cache 2.4 and search. The two most common ways to get EH Cache 2.4 are through the ehcache.org website and Maven. Below, I've included the portion of the Maven pom.xml file needed to automatically add the EH Cache 2.4 library into your code base. EH Cache search is built on two core concepts. Attributes, things that can be searched on, and queries, a fluent object-oriented interface that is used for searching all aspects of the cache, leveraging the defined attributes. There are three kinds of attribute definition types in EH Cache Search. Bean style, which looks for a Java bean style property on the key or the value. Expression style, which is a string of expressions, combinations of methods and field accesses that return a value. And custom extractor, which is a custom implementation of the extractor interface that returns any value you choose. These attributes are defined in your cache description, either in XML or in code. Here are examples of both. Notice in the expression style the use of the reserved word value. This represents whatever is placed in the value portion of the element. Key is a reserved word as well. The names associated with each attribute are how they will be accessed for use in queries. The EH Cache query language is a fluent object-oriented interface that is used for searching all aspects of the cache leveraging the defined attributes. In EH Cache Search, you can do aggregation, gathering things like counts, sums, mins, maxes, and averages on your attributes. It also lets you do various kinds of matching, exact by pattern and ranges, do logical operations, and control your result sets via operations like order by and max object count. Here are some example queries. Here we get the attributes we defined earlier during the cache creations. Next we build up a query using the EH Cache Query API. Then we execute the query and iterate through its result set. Here is another query that demonstrates aggregation. Once you have added your attributes and queries in standalone EH Cache Core, you can now scale out with Terracotta. It just snaps in with two lines of configuration. Doing so, provides fast, indexed, partition search mechanism that grows with your data. You can turn clustered caching on either through XML or through code. Here are the snippets for both approaches. 
In either case, you specify which caches are to be clustered and tell the cache manager what server to talk to. Summing up, EH Cache Search is a querying capability built into the widely used core open source EH Cache API. It extends the value and versatility of caching for performance by adding in memory querying capabilities for one node or scaled out to many, adding flexibility to an application and offloading other data sources. To learn more about EH Cache Search, go to ehcache.org or download the sample code at the link below. Thank you.